Jesus Christ made the most profound statements about worry that the world has ever heard in Matthew the sixth chapter. Therefore I say unto you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or what you will drink, or about your body, what you will put on. Isn't life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow, nor reap, nor gather in barns, but your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Hello, I'm Charles Grove with Foraging Truth and I'm going to help you be more successful in finding morel mushrooms. Now we can all stumble through the woods and come upon morel mushrooms, but you don't get the quantity that some of us would like to get. Um, and even so with life, you find a lot of people just kind of haphazardly bounce through life, going in a direction and just kind of hoping for the best. Um, but when you put a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of faith into learning how to live, you enjoy life so much more. So, how do we find more morel mushrooms? Well, we're going to have to start hunting trees. I know that sounds kind of weird, you know, oh, if you want to find a mushroom, you got to find a tree. And it makes a lot more sense to some people that if that mushroom is growing on a tree, that you would definitely look for that tree. But uh, what a lot of people don't know about morel mushrooms is the fact that morels have a unity, a bond with certain types of trees. And once you learn the trees, then you find the mushroom. So... Let's learn a tree. What is this tree? Does anybody know? It's large. It has sprouts coming off even close to the main trunk of the tree. It has a lot of gnarly branches turning different directions. It's already budded up. It's early spring. And this is a very old tree. This tree actually belonged to a farmer that owned this ground a long time ago before the new farmer owned it and I'm privileged to be allowed to be on this property. This is a large apple tree and why we look for apple trees is morels have a bond with this tree. They grow off of chemicals that the roots give off and they form a symbiosis with this tree. And with this apple tree, you can see the bark. You know, you guys kind of know what an apple tree looks like. I'm not going to sit here and insult your intelligence. But these trees will be, these trees will bud early in the year. So you can learn the leaf. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. Um, Right now, I have a few leaves I can go off of, so I'm going to do that. This is an apple tree leaf. You can see that it's kind of all long pointed it has like a, a round sawtooth pattern like I said they're butted up and they're starting to leave already they're sprouting their leaves and this my friends is why we look for this tree all along the base of this tree you can clearly see morel mushrooms there's one hidden back in that corner. They're around. They're even very, very small ones starting down here. You can see them. Um, see how many more are coming up on this tree. Oh, got one back here. And I'm going to guess that if we keep going around the tree, we'll keep finding more. And I don't 
don't know if you can see that one, but it's down underneath the leaves pretty good. And I don't want to step on them. Now, once you start finding the morels around the base of the tree, you might want to backtrack just a little bit. And the reason for this is, since the tree's roots grow out, and we can kind of guesstimate the roots by looking at the canopy. The canopy of the trees kind of shows us approximately where the roots come out. And I'm going to show you that when you start approaching one of these trees, what you're really going to want to do, see now you can see the trees over there where my sweater's hanging or my uh, hoodie. Now over here, are morels. So let's not bounce through morel season just hoping to, you know, stumble upon a couple of morels here and there when we can clearly just go straight to a tree that we know. And in life, if you know the truth, you can go straight to it. And the fruits of that are absolutely beautiful. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here teaching you about um, morel mushrooms and how morels fruit around certain apple trees and apple trees are just one type of tree but in life when we go towards the truth, which is Christ, our lives change. Um, you know, I've, I've been in the party crowd. I've, I've, uh, I've been a soldier in my past. I'm a corrections officer today. And I'm here to tell you that bouncing through life and going for the easy, quick, high, or the... Um, easy fruit the ones you trip over in life is nothing like knowing the truth and the truth is Jesus it really is um, he's the reason I'm here in front of you today and my life is exactly what I'm telling you it, or it was it was haphazardly bouncing through you know doing my best in the things that I knew being a soldier being a corrections officer but now, Christ has given me a new purpose, and it's you. Um, it's taking, helping to take care, show you guys how to find these things, <clears throat> how to find these things in the wild. But the true meaning behind foraging truth is truth is Christ, and I'm foraging you for Him. So, with me teaching you symbiosis in the uh, the woods and creation over evolution which I'm a firm believer in is more important to me than teaching you where to get your next meal from because we can nourish our bodies and completely disregard our soul some of us don't even believe we have a soul nowadays but we do and I'm here to help you find that path and I hope you stick with me because I have a lot of evidence for that and the Bible tells us we should walk by faith and not by sight. These are the most important things that the Bible teaches us because when you put your faith in something you see, as in maybe a finding overseas that I showed you in a uh, message in a dark time, part one, um, if something would come out as not being what we thought it was or um, your foundation would be washed away it would be destroyed and then your faith would go back to what you knew before that but if you put your faith in Christ and how he changes your life you can't fail let's find more morels the next two trees I'm gonna teach you 
are the Tulip Poplar and the Slippery Elm. But the Slippery Elm is definitely the top tree in Pennsylvania. If you can find it, a Slippery Elm that is in the dying process, that is the tree that actually produces the most mushrooms. So let's move on to the next one.